hip replacements have, um, it's more of the approach and then some of the implants and the bearing surfaces that have changed uh, over the last uh, 10, 15, 20 years now. So uh, joint implants are lasting longer and longer. Uh, the joint um, surface, so the bearing surface has changed quite a bit. Um, the, um, the, life, so the life expectancy of the joint um, has increased over time as the plastic pieces have become more modern. Uh, there's different approaches uh, to a hip replacement. There's an anterior approach, there's a lateral, anterior lateral approach, there's a posterior approach. So there's different approaches to get into the hip. Um, the posterior and the lateral, anterior lateral are more um, muscle cutting type approaches. Anterior hip approach is muscle sparing. Um, it's an approach that I do, I teach that uh, um, in San Antonio, but from anterior hip replacement, uh, functional recovery is very quick. Um, usually by two weeks, my patients are driving, they're off their canes, uh, and then usually by four weeks to six weeks, it's a return to functional activities. So quicker functional recovery from an anterior approach.